What's going on everybody? Got the life for you here with a juice review today. Um, today I'm bringing you a new juice I just picked up from Digital Sigs. It is Watermelon Ice. Let me see if we can get some focus going on in here. I've been uh, playing around the camera out here in the garage. It's kind of working. Watermelon Ice, 16 milligram, uh, 10 milliliter bottle. Um, so, new flavor to me. Um, watermelon Ice, from what I was reading on their website, it's like a watermelon menthol. Um, Definitely tastes like that to me. Uh, I've had the peach menthol from Pure Smoker, which is really my only experience with a menthol-y flavor. And that was good. I liked the fruit with the menthol. I like that. Um, so that's why I ordered the watermelon. Like, it should be nearly the same, you know, minus the peach flavor, which is kind of what it is. Um, what I have it in, I have it in one of these uh, Clearomizers. I just bought these things, too. Don't know a whole lot about them, but I've been using them for the last couple hours. So far, so good. So I filled it up in here um, with a Ego battery, fresh off the charger. I primarily like to vape 6 volts out of this bad boy, um, but these cardamizers don't want to work too well in there. They just get a really bad flavor, and I don't want to push it. So I'm also out of uh, high-voltage atomizers, which is how I roll high-voltage-wise. High-voltage atomizer from I can vape. 6 volts, you know, get really good performance, but out of atomizers, I only have this one, and it's got honeybees in it, and honeybees is the shit, say it again, it's the shit, and I will not ruin this atomizer, so, um, probably want me to shut up, you want to see some uh, performance, some vapor production, some flavor out of this, let's give it a shot. So, I mean, if you can tell, as long as the glare's not too bad, I'm getting damn good vapor out of this thing. Um, I attribute that to the cardamizer as well as the juice. We're going to refer to Digital Sig's website here on my phone, and I'll give you some specs about this juice. Um, it is a VGPG, I'm sorry, PGVG 8020 blend, um, 16, 16 milligram nicotine, and uh, watermelon ice. Um, watermelon infused with menthol and just the right amount of sweet mint. Put them together and you get the chillest, most refreshing watermelon vape on the planet. It's watermelon with attitude. Kind of have to agree. I mean, it is good. I like watermelon flavors. You all know, if you watch my reviews, if you know anything about me, I love Melonica. That is like my guilty pleasure vape now. Um, it's so sweet and so good. I don't want to get sick of it because that's my problem. I'll vape something for a while and I'll just get sick of it. I don't want to touch it any, uh, ever again. So with Melonica, I just break it out, you know, when I'm really having a craving kind of thing. And uh, so watermelon's kind of one of my things, and uh, menthol's never really been. So when I saw a watermelon menthol, you know, I'm like, well, why not? Let's give it a shot. And so far, so good. I really do like it. Um, it kind of breaks the monotony up of just being super sweet. You get the sweet hint along with a nice, cool, minty, menthol y uh, uh, overnote, I guess would be the word to say, bringing back the good old coffee days from Starbucks. Um, so let me tell you guys how much it costs. So a bottle, the 10 milliliter bottle, which is what we have here, was $6.95. Um, currently that's all they have, 16 milligram. Um, I believe that's all they have in size wise too, if I'm looking correctly, is the little bottle, which isn't bad. $6.95 for 10 mils isn't that bad. Um, I would definitely buy it again, you know. Uh, I've been impressed so far with everything I've bought from Digital Smoke, Digital Sigs, I'm sorry, for their juice line. Uh, Honeybees, like I said, is the shit, and uh, this is really good. So I like the fact that I found another juice that I can vape and probably not get sick of. And the other perk to Digital Sigs for me is uh, we're so close in proximity, all my orders get to me within a day. I can almost, I can actually drive up to him and pick up orders. I mean, we would, did the NorCal vape meetup. You heard me talk about that in my last video, which should have been Honeybees. Um, so it's, it's cool to support a local businessman, uh, another Californian, and a, obviously another vapor. So uh, let me get back to my talking points. I kind of ramble. It's been a while. You have to bear with me. It's been a while since I did a video, so you're going to have to just, you know, we'll take a deep breath. Okay. So throat hit. I'm getting killer throat hit, um, not at 6 volts on the Ego. And I'm going to attribute that to the menthol ice flavor. It's going to help with the throat hit. It's good. It's not overpowering. Um, there's plenty of it. I f it just it's good. Um, next thing would be the flavor. It's got a good watermelon flavor and a good mint menthol flavor. It balances each other out. One's not overpowering the other, and it's not disgusting. It's not too sweet. It's not too sour. It's very good. It's well balanced in my opinion. So uh, 
yeah, I definitely would vape this again. I mean, I recommend it. Anybody likes the fruity flavors or the menthol flavors. I mean, it's a good compromise, I guess, or a good addition to your repertoire of other flavors. So uh, before I let you guys go, let me take a couple more drags off this, get some more vapor production. Yeah, it's not, like I said with Melonica, that was like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. This isn't as pronounced, but the mint is good with it, so it reminds me of it. I mean, I, it, wants, I, it reminds me of a certain kind of gum I've chewed before, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, but it's kind of like that. It's good. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could vape this almost all day. I'm going to continually vape this tonight, um, throughout tomorrow, and we'll see how long it takes if I do get sick of it. I don't think I'm going to. I'm also kind of giving these clearomizers a test to see how long it's going to take to have to refill it. Um, did a video on those right before this one, so... So in my opinion, not bad on 3.7 volt. Uh, good vapor, good throat hit, good flavor, price ain't bad, great company, good juice. You know, with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.